his shot here at top eight, trying to take out a beast in gen. Yep, and of course the last match on the loser side is Mars versus Jackal. So we've got a wait, nice wait. little tri-state and New England. Mars is the winners. Oh. Raffi, Raffi, Oh, I'm Jackal. sorry, sorry, Raffi versus going. Jackal. Yeah, yeah, the, the bottom was cut off, and I was like, wait, you know what? I think I just saw Mars <laughs> at the bottom of the screen. Damn, the tablet deceived you already. We haven't even yeah, started Yeah, the, the tablet's playing with me, man. Nonetheless, but. folks, we're getting started here. Loser's top eight, HO3K Gen going up against Timor Esports. Uh, DM, like you said, Actually, DM had to play light earlier today. I know, obviously, this is Jen's pocket box, and definitely not the same as, you know, light's box. But uh, Jen's a very good player, but DM played light and lost 3-0. So uh, maybe maybe a little bit of note. Maybe, uh, you know, Jen watched that set and saw something. So either way, I mean, Fox is a powerhouse character. Uh, a lot of good hitboxes, and can KO can get you super early. So offstage. Yep. Oh, there we go. DM already. Sticking it to Jen here, and he's been trying to make this box work. He's been using it at a lot of locals lately, but I think the real big guns here are that uh, is that Palutena. Well, it's interesting because his Palu is so sick, and it kind of it got him all the way here. Do you have any idea why? Like you know, he would switch the boxes. Not, I'm not doubting Jen. I think Jen is so good, like obviously, but. I don't know. His Palu is what I really want to see here. Yeah. I don't know why he's not doing it. Pikachu is just really good against those characters. Like, Pikachu keeps such a low profile. Like, mm. characters like Palutena or her hitboxes are very specific and stuff like that. So it probably makes it really hard to hit Pikachu. Right. Uh, but nonetheless here, uh, DM continuing to put the hurt on right now. Like you said, uh, did lose Ooh. the light, but this is definitely a fox of a different color. Both figured to literally. Yeah, literally. Yeah, literally, literally yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got the Must New York be. fox with the Tims, those yellow <laughs> shoes. Of course, that's a To Kill Sage classic. So. Shout out to the OG oh, shout himself. Shout out to Sage, man. Shout out to Sage. I wish you could make it. But right now, Jen putting Sage to shame. I've been telling him, Loki, I've been playing with Jen a lot, and I'm like, dude, just, just <laughs> why Fox, man? Just, just save the time for Palutena. Um, of course, I'm just playing with him. This Fox is pretty good, but you see right here, DM, no shortage of experience being from New England. If you don't know this matchup, then yeah. you are out of luck. Yeah, there's yeah, almost no reason to play. Like you, get, like, you don't have a shot against Light. Like, I don't know, man. I mean, not many people do, to be fair, but... Either case, so he's sitting at 119%, gets a grab. No KO yet, though, to be found. Jen on the hunt, though, for it, but it's going to be a, a nice drag down into a, a forward tilt. Forward down. Ooh, nothing yet. Hold and on. That drag down there just opening up Pandora's box for Pikachu's combo game. And the auto cancel back air, too. You can see uh, out of a short hop, he'll have no landing lag for that, even though he hovered off stage, so it didn't show through there. Yeah, and this is kind of like snowballing away from Jen at the early start here. Like, obviously, Fox has the kill power and the buttons to like down most comebacks. The upstairs, there we go. Coops or Domus just coming do it, through just do it, right whatever, away, man. folks. And that's like, I mean, you think of characters who do well against Pikachu. I always think of Mario, like, and he's kind of in a similar, like, character style. You know, he just has really big hitboxes, especially on the ground. Like, I think of his up smash. He's a lot of power, a lot of mobility. Fox is kind of the same way, you know what I'm saying? So it makes sense, but, like, I don't know, man. One thing Pikachu gets to exploit on Fox that he can't on Mario, though, is that wide open recovery. We already saw Jen lose the first stock to that super quick in the match, but not going to pan out there for DM. Still a little bit on the hunt here, but he's taking his time. He knows he could play with this lead for quite a while. Jen, so much work to do, and Ooh, a dash man. attack from cross stage just going to take him out of there. So they gave Pikachu not only a spike off stage with a down air, but a dash attack that kills. Yeah, they gave him that in Smash 4, but now it's even stronger. Yeah, right. For exactly. Some yeah, reason. Right, can right, I see exactly. can I see the EVs on this Pikachu, please? Yeah, it's all into oh, attack. Attack <laughs> attack at speed. Attack at speed. Dude. Oh, then this trainer has no idea what he's doing then. <laughs> wait, no, that's, wait, no, that's right. What would you do? Oh, special attack. Yeah. Come yeah, on. well you you could have a physical Pikachu, I guess. Volt tackle. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. That's special. That's right, yeah, yeah. I'm with it. Anyway, game taking two. all that recoil. There you go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Yo, I don't know. The thing that, like, when I'm playing against Pikachu, like, people have been talking about Pichu a lot, too. Pikachu's quick attack hitting you, I think it's one of the best things about him. Right here, off to a way better start. Jen, 72%, 73 actually, unanswered, basically. This is what I wanted to see, man. I love this Palutena. I turn into weeklies just to watch this thing, so it's very cool uh, to see what Jen's doing now. Yeah, a character that a lot of people give flack for being kind of boring and cookie cutter, Jen really has trademarked his own style with. And we're seeing just this scramble from DM trying to get a word in edgewise, but Jen looking too tight right now. Oh, up tilt loops. Yeah, there we go. Up tilt to Nair. And then when he realizes he can't repeat because the percents are too high, he's just going to go into some more aerial chains off of it. And exactly what I said about Pikachu's low profile kind of making an early appearance right there. That's kind of helped DM escape that jungle situation. But nonetheless, like you guys said, uh, you know, just a lot of really good pressure coming out from Jen in the early uh, starts right now. Counter kind of a... Uh, you know, unwarranted right there. Yeah, DM, DM was definitely looking for it. Another Ooh. forward smash to set the pacing of this game. DM, man, 
I really like the way he's playing today. He's amazing, dude. He kind of like, in Smash 4, he had a hard time finding some consistency. Like, he had high peaks, but then, like, he would just, like, kind of go two and two sometimes randomly. He's found more consistency in, uh, you know, Smash Ultimate. It's good to see him make this top eight and have a good set right now against Jen, who tied it up. Jen gonna kill him by way of the blender, though, that neutral air, and you could see it make another appearance here in these early percents, generally leading into at least another neutral air. <laughs> Maybe some other aerials to follow. <laughs> like you said, cookie cutter, right? <laughs> like, yeah. Well, hey, man, even the creative Palutena has got to do what works, right? <laughs> no, no, absolutely. You know, I've been talking about Palu a lot. Like, it's interesting the people who are maining her. Because you look at someone like Nairo mains her and DeBuzz mains her. Those are two very yeah, opposite yeah. players. And then you also got Jen, who I, I think Jen, he was a sick player. If you guys don't know in Smash 4, he was a Ryu, but then he also picked up Sheik. And he was a player who, like, I feel like he was another, like, hit or miss. Like, he would either be super confident and defeat anybody in the world, or he could, like, go 2-2 two two with those characters. But... The thing about Ryu and the thing about Sheik in Smash 4, they're super inconsistent characters. Palutena, yeah. super consistent character. So I think that's why we're seeing more of Jen, you know, in the New York region. Yep. All right, and just having this mid-stage neutral battle here, it's going to be DM coming out on top, but still behind in percent. He needs to make these exchanges count. No, misses the up throw to Thunder, and Jen going to respond with back air on the way down. Yeah, that's DM okay. back to the wall. What's he got? Yeah, I mean, you want to talk about good hitboxes that and consistent hitboxes that Palutena has. That back air is going to be a go-to thing more so in this matchup. But the up smash, good conversion there from DM. Very nice. Again, keeping his lead fresh, dude. He's been playing so well with the lead. Like, that's something he did in game one, and he's doing it again in game two. Yep, just baiting out those options, man. Aaron, hey, you gotta here watch. we go. It's yep. Pikachu. It's like a documentary. Like, you just sit there, you just watch it for hours. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> learn, a, learn a thing or two. You see Jen a bit pressed for the kill here. How's he going to make it Ooh. happen? There we go. Yep. Dash attack just crushing through anything that may have been there, but right. fortunately, nothing was anyway. Yep, so last knock game here. Uh, this is obviously a huge game right now for Jen. You never want to be down 2-0. That Sunder oh, no. Jolt could have been disastrous right there, but able to find respite, gets back to the center stage. But DM, once he, uh, making good use of that quick attack to break zone, yeah, kind of like the, the big difference we brought up between Pichu and Pikachu is that added hitbox on quick attack. It so, makes, yeah. makes it so easy to break zone on these, Ooh. like, oppressive characters like Palutena. DM fighting his way down with buttons every time, oh, too. Oh, oh there what? we go. The dash attack sneaking right underneath that forward air, and that's exactly what you guys were talking about, how the low profile of Pikachu can so be good. such a thorn in the side of this character. I feel like there are a lot of matchups that have been decided in Smash history, really, but especially Smash 4 and Ultimate, it feels like, just by the size of the hurt box right. on the opposing character. Yeah, man. I feel like, like, even though Jen still lost that game too, I like what he's doing with Paolo more than the Fox for sure. Like he just looks more at home with the character. I think he like he's gambling his tournament life right here. I definitely think he should stick with the Paolo, and he is. So that's good. Yeah. So DM putting together an impressive losers run, uh, actually beating the uh, the hero, of the story of the tournament, other than him, uh, Kofi to get here. Oh my God. So, uh, you know, I think DM's a spectacular player. I'm so glad he made top eight. But Kofi, man, I wanted to watch more Kofi do. The Kofi show's over, unfortunately, for today. But it'll be back. Yeah, that Falco is something nasty. But yeah. either way, not a bad trade-off. I mean, oh. we get to watch these two players who never get to play. True. Meanwhile, Kofi and Jen, both from New York. That's true. I think Kofi just did it for the fans, you know? Yeah. Really a <laughs> true crowd yeah, favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kofi. bro, you guys can catch us at Aeon or Xena. Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate he was marketing for Zeno. That's what it was, actually. He was like, you know what, Devin? I got you. Like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, you guys want to watch this match so bad? Why don't you tune in? Wednesday is around 7.30 p.m. That's right. That's the ultimate Same homie channel. Show. My God. Jesus. Get a friend like Kofi, you guys. That's right. Kofi rules. Anyway, but we're going to talk about these guys now. Jab pressure. Ooh, I like jab the, pressure yeah. back. <laughs> okay. Dash to jab, man. Sure. That's that ultimate stuff. The dash attack, once again, finding respite. Jen has himself a lead here, but kind of boxed in the corner. Haven't, hasn't really been able to get uh, control of center stage the last couple of exchanges. Yeah. I like how Jen recovered high there. Like, DM's been catching him up the ledge so much, and sometimes it's just smart just to bypass that ledge. Good recognition. He parried there, but did, but he, drew, he put his shield up after he recognized it was a nair. He didn't want to try to parry the whole thing, so he's like, all right, you know what? I'll respect it. He's back off. So. Yeah. Smart from Jen. We still lost the first dog. Jen was one of the first players I saw really start messing with parrying even in the opening days of the game. So Ooh. good to see that even not just for counterattacks, but also for blocking, like you said, that recognition between the hits of uh, Pikachu's, what was it, fair neutral, that he did? Neutral air. Neutral air, okay, okay, yeah. The new air. Yeah. That. New and improved. <laughs> new air, that's what yeah. it stands for. <laughs> Either way, man, As even as these guys have looked for the openings of these matches, Ooh. it just seems like DM Ooh. comes out on top when it comes time to take the stock every time. This is this Jen. is super DM right now. I, I watch him play every week, man. Like he's definitely playing. Uh, he's on. He's on it right now. He's playing so well. This is Jen. Like Jen is so good, dude. Like for those of you who don't know, he's he's mad nice. So he made top eight. So that's good. 
Yeah, it's a two-tier event today. Yeah, and he's doing a good job just like applying pressure, like not even just hitting buttons, but just being in a space to occupy, kind of forcing Jen to think a little bit quicker. Ooh, Ooh. that down tilt setting up either a tech chase Ooh. or just a really low landing trap. Yeah, he hasn't got hit. DM hadn't got hit until that very moment. Like, he'd been running around so much, and he was like applying pressure, getting in Palo's face, like Koopa said. But now here we go, it's a Gen show time. Let's see what he's got. Not a whole lot. Pikachu just gets out of here. He's, <laughs> he's tiny, man. It was a short show. Commercial break. Definitely like the usage of down air there as well, just mitigating the low profile from Pikachu. You've seen back air, forward air all go over his head so far. Sour spot of the dash deck looked like. Oh, he's just doing it again. Why not? Sure. Yep. Goes for the back throw for the stage positioning, but again, the high recovery from DM gonna intercept whatever edge guard uh, Jen had in mind. Oh, lets his guard down just in time for the getup attack to go through, and DM taking it with a raw up throw. No follow up necessary. That definitely is a little stronger <laughs> than Smash Four, man. Dude, I'm right? saying like they gave him a lot of interesting, like more powerful options. Like it's just weird. Like I don't know why they decided. It. I think there's like a reason that you know a lot of people are like Pikachu might be the best character in the game. Oh, how does Pikachu hold on to you? He has no, he has like stubby fingers. Hold on, what, the ledge? Yeah, but he's a tiny, he's a tiny guy. Right, Suspend you your disbelief, okay? <laughs> it's a video game. Wait, Chill. I know what you're is. talking about. Right, <laughs> wait, this is a video this is, wait, <laughs> not, <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Ooh, so close to that KO right there, but DM gonna keep hanging on. Pikachu, very light, but not the lightest. Sucks. Not as light as his cousin or his nephew, Pichu. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Jen having a hard time securing this uh, stock, and the longer DM uh, you know, lingers around, the more dangerous does he really get for him. Yeah, Jen trying to get his Captain America on, trying to bash with the shield. Instead, he goes with the staff, man. Getting the neutral air, and again, I mean, this is the third time in a row we've seen this where Jen, he's behind, and he starts coming back in the last stock. Look at that, 33% is so much on Pikachu. This character dies early. As hard as he gets to hit, once you start hitting him, he really feels it. That said, Palutena, a big body and not very heavy in her own right. So we'll see just how able DM is uh, to capitalize on the openings he gets. Not a character who's great out of disadvantage. I think it's one of her biggest flaws. And it's not so big. It's one of her few flaws, right? Yeah, and she right, also has right, stuff right. like ledge cancels with warp to get out. Yeah, she's definitely got interesting mobility, like a lot of different things. So, ooh, down air defends himself. Oh, my God. That could have been really, yeah. really dangerous for DM, but able to escape. I like that neutral air. Even though I, the Thunder Jolt didn't come out, I'm pretty sure, it would have just eaten right through it. Those repeating, long-lasting hitboxes. Ooh. Oh, God. That poor Pikachu, man. He just stuck his face out there. Palutena whacked him right in the nose with her shield. <laughs> I imagine that hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't feel good. It's some percentage. Oh, the weak dash attack. Hold on. DM on the hunt here. You're seeing Pikachu's very versatile recovery come to his aid greatly against Explosive Flame, too. Oh, yeah. A lot of characters sometimes have no choice but to face that head on. Pikachu can be very tricky with where he's going to fall, where he's going to rise. Uh-oh! Oh! oh uh, Jen! Oh, my God. The second breath of air here. Oh, what? What? Oh, okay, no, that should do it. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. If it sent the opposite it's not direction. Peaches. It always yeah. said, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold up. I'm so jaded after seeing that move <laughs> kill it, like, 10%. Oh, I knew. Dude, he did a delay dash back, uh, back uh, though. Hold up. The toss. Oh, oh, my God. DM still alive. He's got to make it back. That's, uh, the thing. That's the thing about Quick wow. Attack. You're right. You have a lot of different options. You have a lot of different angles you can go at. But your hurt box is enormous while you're Quick Attacking. So yep. Jen was like, what am I going to do here? I'm Palutena. There's a big hurt box flying at me. Uh, there. A button. There. Yep, there. Okay, yep. I choose there. I'm in the air. I'm going to press that big green button like my big green head of hair. Hair, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's neutral air. Maybe. It's definitely neutral air, he as you see him. right there in the replay cam. Yeah. I like how he went back onto the stage, too. Like, the way he scooped him up was really, that was yeah, really no. good coverage, actually. And the big thing that killed DM there is that he started getting, like, very trigger-happy with the dash attacks, and Jen just started turtling and shield and punishing that. He was, like, he was fishing. He was fishing. Wait, how many, dash attack kills? How, many, yeah, how many dash attack kills did he get, though, yeah. the other two games? He like, got drunk with power. Like, 14. <laughs> the poor Pikachu is so concussed from ramming his head into Palutena. Like, he just he can't do anything else. He just, he just keep doing it. This is the Pikachu at the beginning of every anime okay. season that's bad. Pikachu's evil, right? Because if he does his back air, he turns and smiles at the camera. What a jerk. Like, yeah. when he hits you, watch, man. Watch when he does it next time. The Nair is cute, though. I'll give it to him. Pikachu has a grand old time going to town on you, man, and all. Oh. So he's a masochist. He, he what? <laughs> no, he's a sadist. Okay, yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah, the other one. Yeah. Needless to say, we are here in uh, the. He's a, he's a satyr. Yeah. No, wait. No, that's the other wrong one. No, that's in a couple months. That's the way. Hold on. Oh. Anyway. We, I can't breathe. All right, we're down to a dual cast again. Yeah. <laughs> Temporarily. Yeah, so we're here at the uh, Catalyst Pokemon League. Let's see if the, uh, you know, the wider area. Uh, in the middle of the stage, uh, it makes a uh, difference here for DM. 
another dash attack on the shield, man. I'm telling you, like, no, truly, like, that is definitely just becoming a, a habit that Jen is avoiding and then punishing uh, properly, so. Good yeah. use of the Nair there, too. Because yeah, I, I feel like he's just willing to, like, eat the grabs, because, like, outside of that one kill throw and, like, you know, the early mid-percent combos, he's not really getting eaten up too bad by those grabs. So he's like, okay. Oh. Getting pinned on that platform in that situation was so scary. Props to DM for not losing his mind there. I definitely would have. Oh, so Ooh. up throw to Thunder, and now it's going to be Jen's turn. The drag down up air so clean right there. We're going to see what DM has. Throws the Thunder Jolt just to protect himself, maybe hoping oh, to clip the wall. Instead, going to clip his face on Paul the shield right there. And that trade again, we've seen it, and like it's happening more often. And that In that instance, that trade, uh-oh, hold on. Palutena show. There it is. Wow, a quick 40%. 40, 41, 57, dude, that is so much on Pikachu. Like that, you you got to be feeling the pressure right there. If you thought DM was kind of reaching for a kill before, I have a feeling he's going to be doing it again very quickly. Wait. I love the adaptation of the combo, though, to throw in the up airs. A lot of Politanas, you'd either see attempt more neutral airs or a forward air in that situation. Jen just pushing the meta a little bit. DM, though, looking still great, even though he's down in this match right now, sitting up 2-1. to one. Kind of has a game Ooh. to play with. Obviously, the pressure is much higher on Jen right now. I don't know. In this game? In this game, certainly not. Yeah, in the yeah. grand scheme of things, though, he's Ooh. still got to build from the ground up in game five. That was almost another dash attack whipping into a KO. Like, had Jen hit that back air, it probably would have been a KO. I mean, there was a lot of rage on that Palu. I don't know, man. But either way, I mean, DM able to take a stock. Now they're tied in terms of stocks. And let's see what DM can do uh, playing from behind in the second stock. Yeah, like, I feel like you can kind of start to feel oh, and kind of slip away from DM there, there for a second. But that's up, that's up a combo a little bit. Yeah, he got a turnaround before his grab, or maybe he just wanted to turn around up tilt and somehow drop the input in a big way. Ooh, get up attack oh, making a rare appearance. Scoop, man. I like that preemptive strike there from Jen. Just anticipating that he was going to throw a quick attack out because you've seen DM do that a lot from the corner, either to escape or to start applying pressure. I'm telling you, man. It's Captain America's Ooh. shield, man. Looking like an Avenger. Stars and stripes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... So you quick attack on the middle of the thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right, man. Let's see what Jen can do with his lead there. Oh, you know what he's going to do? He's going to nair a couple times. I like it, too, because like the frame trap afterwards, he went for the up air, but then he could have potentially got a follow up anyway after DM fell out of it. So. Good coverage. It's just like good option select, even though you can get it. Oh god. Yeah. I feel like Jen definitely smells the blood in the water right now. Dude, he's like, playing so well though. Like the adjustment has been so good. And like don't don't forget, like the first game that he lost, he went box. So yeah. like, he really only lost one game with Pally so far, and right now it's one to one as far as things go with with his Palutena, so. Oh you see DM with some awareness on the parry too, not trying to swing on the multi-hit forward tilt. Just respecting and blocking. Oh, charging star! <laughs> <laughs> Zenit. Oh, yeah, get on over there. Jen, you've been hit by that too many times now, and they both mattered a lot. I yeah. feel like it's just the opposite of what we were seeing earlier. You know, in in the set, in the set is like, DM was so evasive and just moving around Jen, and now Jen's just doing the opposite. He's throwing out these awesome hitbox. Oh, God. He's throwing out these awesome hitboxes, moving all around this Pikachu, but here we go. DM on the hunt here. He needs this KO. Those platforms, I feel like, have been helping Jen out more, too. It's the advantage of wearing a church, man. Come on. Yeah, but it's a Pokemon <laughs> church. Have some respect. Yeah. <laughs> This is, this, is a, never mind. this is a house of Arceus, <laughs> this is not okay? Arceus, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Forward air, not enough, man. So close. Ooh, oh, just tickling him with the early hits of the forward air. That move actually kills That's now, a, too, so we would have seen Jen lose his stock. Instead, yet another dash attack from DM. What kills? Tickle? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. The defense has been lowered, Charles. I'm the real man. I'm the most ticklish person in the world, so no, that no, probably no, no, would no, actually know, kill man. me. <laughs> Oh god. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh god. This platform not a, a safe place for DM at all. But the thing is, like, he's been uh -oh. using quick attacks so well to get out of Jen's pressure. See how evil he just smiles at the camera, man. Look at it. Whoop, right there. It's a freeze frame, dude. Man, the sure. auto cancel backer is so huge for this character. It just makes it a combo starter. And you saw DM almost get something big going right there. Yeah, Couldn't dude. turn it into too much, but still this comeback is very possible. Yeah, crowd coming to life right now a little bit too. DM. Trying to Oh god. That's an agenda, right? Avenger, Agen, a Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. I don't know, man. We're almost the, there. We're almost, we're we're almost there. Yeah, we're living man. on a prayer. We're living on a prayer, you know. Everybody, please go see Captain Marvel. <laughs> True. <laughs> but anyway, two two. Immediate run back. Oh, is this? Are they gonna choose the song? Yep. It might be the best song that we have in competitive basic uh, stages. Which one? This one that we're playing right now. What's the title? I forget. <laughs> I'll tell you right now that you're wrong, though. Okay, what do you mean? Because it is objectively Dual Zone. That's true. Oh, Dual Zone is very Best good. Best song you're right, in the game. You're right. Nah, this song is, dude, wait, when this song kicks in, man, you feel it in your chest. 
Either way, these oh, guys. Oh, it's a Sogaleo and Lunala. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All I know is when Dual Zone kicks oh, in, I want to start spitting bars, yeah. man. That's a fresh beat. Anyway. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the roost myself. <laughs> uh oh, get out. Get out. This, is again, this is a dual cast. Yeah. <laughs> we're out. We're out. Can't confirm we're, we're I'm, voting I'm people leaving. off the I'm island. I'm leaving. You can stay, but I'm out. Oh, DM, though, trying to vote Jen off the island. Trying to be the sole survivor here. But no, just going to have to reset back to center stage. Couldn't get anything too meaningful going off stage. Down throw into what? Ooh, nothing. Ooh, Two wow. dodges. Yeah, the, 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 that was double team evasion right there from DM for sure. Up air and connecting with a forward air. Good reach on that, actually. Wow, Ooh. DM using banned moves out here. <laughs> <laughs> Does this set count? This isn't tournament legal. Yeah, can we? Like, you got to lose the stock for that. I've, Jen's been getting a lot of mileage out of that downer, oh, uh, like you guys brought up earlier. It's been really uh, key for him here. And now DM on the ropes once again. Oh, dude, this down tilt is so good. That's two in a row. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, God. He ah! just keeps catching that extended hurt box from Pikachu, either from Quick Attack or from a not sweet spotted Skull Bash. If he's just the slightest bit above the edge when he's cruising over there, then it's an easy pickup for Jen. Oh, oh, oh excuse me. Oh, that was the shield to the shield, man. Her holiness is here, ladies and gentlemen. That was hypercharging star right there. That was dope. That was dope. <laughs> All right, let's see. DM, what do you have to make this comeback? Yeah, charging easy, smashes easy. at the edge every time in this game. Fully invincible get-up attack going to eat through it. Yeah, easy, easy call. Oh, no. Yeah, in what world? world? <laughs> okay, so, like, if I'm Jen, oh, never mind. I was going to say, if I'm Jen, I'm feeling really confident after he whipped that thunder like that. Like, he's missing putting like that. I've got to be feeling good. But either way, DM goes, I'm going to dash attack you again. Let's go for it. Oh, we, haven't, we have not seen the reticle come out, actually. Yeah, maybe just a bit worried about Pikachu's size and mobility. Yeah. Probably not the easiest character to hit with it, for sure. Yeah, you take the free damage. But hey, if there's any time to start game. busting out tricks that you haven't used yet, it's in Game 5. We've seen so many Game 5s throughout this bracket, by the way. A lot of very evenly matched up competition. And Jen oh, and what a Thunder Joel! Are you serious? That was nuts. I wish he got the down air afterwards, though. That would have been really sick. But either way, Jen is living. Center stage, both these players. Neutral's been pretty even, actually, between the two of them, which is interesting. Yeah, Dan's been kind of getting, like, steamrolled in the early percents uh, the last yeah. two games. It looks like he's kind of, like, slowed down a bit and, you know, readapted to Ooh. what Jen has been doing. It was a weird reset after that forward air. You see that? That was weird. Yeah. Either, either way, down tilt. Oh, I, I feel like he could have jabbed. He could have jabbed, I feel like. And you go for the forward smash at the ledge. Oh! oh another Speaking one. Speaking of the forward smash at the ledge. DM going up in terms of stocks. Uh, this is more looking more like games one and two than three and four. That's for sure. Jen staring down the barrel of his tournament life right now. What has he got? Oh, that yeah. was a great explosive flame. Yeah, it's just so tricky to hit it on Pikachu. He can dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge all the way through <laughs> it. A double dodge for the double team. Double back air, evil smile on his face the whole time. Ooh. Hold up. Oh, I love that corner pressure. Just back off a little bit, make him whip, and then pick up the grab on that scared shield. You know what's cool, too, is he was facing backwards. He bit back air. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Hold up, hold up. Yep. We got a game five situation. Last stop. Yo, tell me why I hear more cheers in the crowd for Jen than for local boy DM here. We travel very well in these streets, Max yeah, yeah, yeah. Ketchum. I yeah. feel like there's something special about going out of region. You know what I'm saying? Like, when, you, when you're That's the true. invader, when you're in the invader, you're in there. Like, you, your boy's got to support you. But now DM's squad coming to life. He hasn't been touched yet either, I gotta say. Yeah, the house is being oh, slightly uh, defended right now, but Jen getting uh, that first initial hit. Uh, Jen trying to defend house of 3,000. We've got a, these guys are both the home team right now. Jen, <laughs> all right, he's cooking. Only 40% down now, but DM looking so Ooh. good, looking for the jab reset. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. We've been so good right there. 69% on this Pikachu, gets a quick attack. Uh -oh. Such a good tool. Thunder, Thunder. Yeah. nope. The air dodge, though, getting a forward air, hold up. DM on the hunt. Oh my god. Oh, you can sense the panic. Not even the panic, Dude. just the urgency here from DM. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Finally whipping that down till at the edge. Hold up. DM's gotta recover here. And, and Jen uh -oh. has been so good at the ledge. Jen has been so good oh! at the ledge. Oh, That's what I'm talking go. about right there. Ralphie coming up, picking up his boy. Another back air, so good. Jen clutching that one out. Reverse 3-0. -oh. Reverse 3-0. -oh. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. What a set, man. That was a oh, the alarms are going off. Uh, it is weirdly bright in that camera angle. That was amazing. There's Jackal, too. He's got a set to play very shortly. What a set, though. What oh, he a dropped way. his glasses, though. My what God. A, oh, no. Are they Can't okay? see without his he glasses. He doesn't need them, man. He wasn't He's wearing got them. He wasn't wearing them. He wasn't wearing them the whole time. Like, that's the twist. <laughs> he was not wearing his glasses. He's like, which character was I? Well, this now is we where have he proof won. that he was. Yeah, I love how he bobbed and weaved underneath that Thunder Jolt. That's a mistake I see a lot of um, Pikachu and Mario players make, by the way. When they're coming back or when they're mm -hmm. high Fireball. up, they'll throw the 45 degree projectile. Yeah. Jen read that 100%. And the big, big, big difference of what clutched that set out for Jen 
His edge guarding in the fifth game was just so good. That no, down yeah. tilt is so active, and Pikachu's hurt box when he's quick attacking, so big, man. And Jen just threw it out, kept working. Great job, man. That was only the first.